Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the toString uh, method of some of the classes in Visual Basic, which might be a little self-explanatory. Uh, we will be covering F3.7, the toString method, in this video. So we have another types issue when it comes to interacting with the user, but this time uh, our issue is that when we're trying to display information to the user through a label, uh, that dot text property can only display strings. Uh, you can't actually put a regular number in there. We actually have to uh, somehow convert it to a string so that we can display it. Uh, for our circle area um, procedure, or our circle area application, we actually have to convert our double area which actually contains the area of the circle, convert that into a string so that we can display it for the user and they get to see what the area of the circle is. And we can use the toString method of any double and integer and decimal among probably other classes as well. But um, if you take a numeric variable like double area, for example, and call its toString method, then it will automatically convert that uh, the value from that variable into a string. So this whole statement gets replaced by a string containing the value inside of that variable. Now there's an optional uh, format string which we will talk about, but it allows you to specify things like number of decimal points, commas, percent signs, all kinds of stuff. So you can use a format specifier to tell Visual Basic how to format everything. So that format string is going to take the form of some letter uh, and then a sequence of digits that will represent uh, the number of decimal points. And the letter itself is the format specifier. That is how the returned string is formatted. Uh, let's look at a couple examples of that. One possible format specifier is the letter C, either uppercase or lowercase. Uh, the case doesn't actually matter in these format specifiers, at least the ones we're covering here. But it return the string that gets returned actually formats the number that was contained within the variable uh, as currency. So it puts a dollar sign in front and it uses thousandths separators, uh, you know, commas at every um, thousandths place, every three, um, you know, thousandths and millionths and billionths and whatever, all those different separators. Uh, negative values are enclosed in parentheses as well. But this is really useful for formatting it like currency. Now, the letter C itself doesn't actually uh, control there being two decimal points. Uh, you know, the way that the US dollar only has uh, cents down to the hundredths rather than like the thousandths or the tenths or the millionths or whatever. You actually have to do that using... Uh, the digits 0, 2 after the letter C, but some more examples of that in just a little bit. There's the N format specifier, uh, which is for the number format. It's like currency, but no dollar sign. So the there are thousandths separators, essentially. Uh, you put those commas in every three digits. And negative values are preceded by a minus sign. There's no parentheses going on there. So the way that we would normally expect to write numbers. And then F is for fixed point. Uh, it's like number, but there's no thousandths separator. So it's kind of the way that we type out numbers in Visual Basic normally, but specifying F like this allows us to actually uh, specify how many decimal points are actually included in the result. Uh, so if we want to round it to the hundredths place or something like that, that's what the um, F, the fixed point format specifier, is for. And then there's percent, which multiplies the numeric value by 100 and then actually adds the percent sign afterwards. And then negative values are preceded by a minus sign like we might expect. So if you're trying to output a percentage, the percent is actually really good for that. So one example is if we don't include the format string whatsoever and we use it with int age um, being 23, you know, we can assign it to the property label age dot text uh, equals int age dot string. 
uh, this whole thing gets evaluated and int age two string gets replaced by the string containing 23 and then it's essentially as if we said label age dot text equals the string containing 23. So we put that string inside of label age dot text and the label displays the number 23. If you want to do some currency formatting, probably a really good option for us is to use C2 as our format string. So if int sales is 75,000 and we're trying to put int sales into label sales dot text, we can use dot two string passing in the C2 format string. This says, hey, convert this into currency form. So use the dollar sign and the uh, comma every three digits, but also the two says round it to two decimal points. In this case, even if there aren't any you know, real digits out there, just put two zeros at the end of it. So int sales dot two string passing in the string C2 gets all of this gets replaced by the string containing $75,000 formatted properly. And then because we essentially have label sales dot text equals $75,000, the string containing that, then uh, Visual Basic puts that inside of the text property and it gets displayed to the user. Another example, we have uh, decimal total equals 4,599.639 D. Remember the, the literal type character for decimal. This says that this is a decimal, not a double in the code. But, you know, decimal total equals all of this, and we're trying to format it to be a number, but rounded to two decimal points rather than the three that we are given in the you know, declaration of deck total. So the two string um, passing in N2, that converts this to the string 4,599.64 with the comma in the right place. And then this whole uh, call to deck totals uh, two string method gets replaced by the string 4,599.64, which then gets put into the label label.total.txt property and displayed to the user. And then a quick example of the percentage uh, format string. Uh, we have a 0 0.15 uh, rate right here. Uh, we pass in the P0 format string, uh, which will then convert double rate into 15% with the percent sign. So the string containing 15%, it sticks that in label rate dot text. So that's a quick example of how to use toString. It's a very helpful uh, method for you to use when you are trying to display uh, data to the user. So definitely keep this one in mind.